made in Hollywood. From executive producer Dennis Quaid comes the podcast anthology series Bear and the Banjo about an unlikely musical duo unwittingly changing the course of American history in every episode. Welcome to the Bear and Banjo show. We are a fake band, a true fictional. This first song is titled Can You Hear Me Now? <clears throat> Feeling like a cold shoulder, mm-hmm. four years from the border. Bear and Banjo is that it is a true fiction, absolute true fiction. Bear and Banjo are these two mythical, maybe, maybe real figures uh, in American musical culture and history. Somehow they are at the very center of and turning point of every new phase of American music. None of their records uh, exist, can't be found, and we have only little snippets of stories. I came into possession of a Brown Durham 78 RPM recording by the mystery musician referred to in local legend as Mr. Bear. The story of music is the cities and the towns and how all those things sort of coalesce towards musical history and I find that at any given point we could have found ourselves singing, auditioning in a boarding house for Ralph Pierre or the Lomaxes or trying to make a quick buck in a card game with the mob and trading our publishing to save our lives or later on it's my idea that it's like hey man all the great blues people have sold their souls to the devil let's find someone who will like buy our souls and like we fail at that. The music how it was affected by the times the place, it recreates the, the, the culture that was around at that time as well. A legend, a living legend by the name of Bob Dylan gave us these lyrics and we were able to, to co-write and create a, a song and put melodies and chords to these words. Thank you so much, Bob Dylan. I know you can't hear me, but just in case. My brother David introduced me to Jared, and then so, and he told me about the project, and it said, I said, it sounds great. It sounds, I love new doing something new. It's not, I knew De- Dennis. We worked together years ago, and uh, Pooh Bear and T Bone's involvement with the uh, music it just was fun for me. Like she is someone who's been a muse of music as well. Like we have creators and creating our own amazing art, but also the fact that like who are the people that get songs written about them. It's just a bizarre, like, intersection. So many cruel intentions fueled by hate. No sense of value to demonstrate. Most people create content and then they go, they stay, they try to find the music that they can put with it. And we were blessed enough to put together the music for fun. And it actually turned out into stuff that we genuinely loved. And, um, and then from there, the stories were able to be put to the music. I do believe this is the first time that a record has ever been launched from a podcast, mm-hmm. uh, you know, which is a backwards way of doing it, a brand new thing. That's not America. No way. Thank you very much. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there. 